That is our top story this morning. Elsewhere, the first package holiday flights to Tunisia are taking off this morning for the first time since 30 British tourists were killed in a terrorist attack at one of the country's resorts in 2015. Katie Ricketts at Birmingham Airport for us this morning. Good morning to you, Katie. So no doubt holidaymakers making the most of it. What's the mood like among those setting off for Tunisia this morning? Well, Charlotte, it was very excitable earlier this morning. The guys you see behind me uh, are going to Tenerife, but uh, around 5 o'clock this morning, there was a full queue for the first Tunisian flight, uh, as well as first-timers. There were also many loyal Tunisia fans who'd either waited for the no-fly uh, ban to be lifted or had continued to travel via airports like Charles de Gaulle and Frankfurt, even though it invalidated their insurance. They were relieved uh, to hear they could again fly from their own doorstep. I'm glad the flights are back in now because it's been horrible having to go through Frankfurt and Charles de Gaulle and I'm just waiting to get back there. We've never stopped going to Tunisia, we always go to the same hotel, um, very well looked after, always felt safe. Been coming over 30 years, love it, love it, love it. So are they right to fly? Well, that travel ban was instigated back in 2015 after a gunman opened fire on a beach in Seuss. Uh, and now the Foreign Office says that a terrorist attack is actually still very likely and there is still a state of emergency in the country. However, uh, the Tunisian ambassador here in the UK said they've been working with British police and authorities to try and improve their security over there and said that people should feel safe flying out. We can be confident now that the country is, uh, is safe and uh, we have done uh, you know, everything uh, in, in our capacity in order to make uh, you know, the, the resort, the hotels, uh, as safe as possible. One of the biggest draws for people to pick Tunisia is the price, with some package deals being around half the price. They could potentially be paying half as much as these guys going out to Tenerife. So it is a decision or weighing it up, but those we spoke to this morning, certainly very excited about their choice. OK, Katie, thanks very much. Katie Rickett there at Birmingham Airport this morning.